Hello. I like using these TL431s that are amplified zeners as not only as a, an adjustable zener, but they make great voltage monitors. Uh, instead of the resistor, you can use a relay or an LED. Now in this setup we have here, we have uh, approximately 5 volts going in and there's a voltage divider to change that to one half. So we had 2.5 volts. The normal reference voltage for these is around 2.5 volts. Now what happens is if you raise the voltage it should still stay at, at one half. Well as you notice we get up here at 10 volts and it's 2.73. Uh, that's because internally although they show this on the data sheet as basically an op amp input uh, there is a substrate diode which connects onto the cathode. And so basically in the data specification they say you cannot put more than 10 milliamps into the reference pin. So you have to be very careful with your voltage dividers. Uh, if you're feeding directly from a battery Say so you're do, measuring a lithium battery uh, and you want to stop when you get below 2.5 volts, you cannot connect directly to the 431. You should go through a very high value resistor and that will limit the current, not only protecting the amplified zener from being destroyed, but from drawing current all the time at a high level and uh, draining your battery. And if you want to use multiple TL431s to turn off or turn on relays at different uh, voltage levels, you can use a single voltage divider, but if the lower one gets above 2.7 volts, it will stay at that 2.7 volts at that position and it will make your whole voltage divider nonlinear. Now this TL431, if you disconnect the cathode, it will still act like that zener. And you can actually measure uh, voltage at this pin, which is very similar to as if you uh, had the resistor connected. So that's my tip for today. Thanks for watching.